Hello everyone, welcome. Uh, today, I want to do a quick video. This is my first time recording on StreamYards. So, I hope that everything turns out alright. How are you guys doing today? Well, today I am going to review uh, War of the Dwarves by Mark Hines. And I'm also doing the audiobook, so it's also narrated by Neil Dickman. Uh, it's the book two in a series of five. The length is 22 hours and 38 minutes if you do the audio version. Um, it is very well done. I think the audio book was fantastic. So if you're looking for just a good time to listen to a good story, Mark Hines' Doors are fantastic. But this is what the book and paperback looks like. So you can see it's a decently thick book. Um, uh you know, it's the second part, the, f the first part, and the first part was really well done. I really enjoyed it. I don't want to spoil anything for you guys in case you decide to go get the book. It was fantastic, but I do want to do a shout out real quick to my friend Kai uh, MFS. He is also a YouTuber. If you don't know him, go look him up. He had finished his own book called Space Crime Domino. Uh, like myself, Aho is creating his own story. Um, his book is pretty well thick, and I haven't started reading it yet, but this is my next book to read. So, uh, what was it like? Um, the, I, I, I did both the audiobook and a Reddit book, because uh, when I didn't have time to sit down and read it, I would sit on the audiobook and I would listen to it. I'm actually in the third part on the audiobook right now, and I do have all five back there. And... I actually got them pretty cheap because they were on sale, which is great. I always do like a good sale. But yes. And shout out my kids who got me this new coffee cup for my birthday. This is uh, Daddy Shark, and it's got my kids' names on it. <laughs> I also got a couple new things in the background I want to say real quick. I got the Spider-Man uh, old cart, uh, comic book art poster i got batman number one uh, poster and i got of course the black knight from um uh, my pythons and the holy grail yeah so i decided to get a couple of those when i was gone this weekend with my brother um i'm back and let's delve into it so what did i think about this book I think it was fantastic. If you like Lord of the Rings, if you like fantasy, if you like you know humans, dwarves, orcs, and such, but you want to read something different, like Lord of the Rings is great, but they only show some of the dwarves. These books are done by the dwarf as the main character, and it delves into the dwarf religions, Doors into the different kingdoms. This one does a lot better. The first book um, had, you know, your main characters of Tundale Goldhand. And he was raised by a mage. So he's not a dwarf in the sense because he was raised by human. And he's kind of a scholarly dwarf. So in the first book, it was all him discovering what it means to be a dwarf. Um, you will find out. You know, all the manga die, those are the wizards, by uh, uh, pretty much a necromancer wizard who becomes possessed by a demon, blah, blah, blah. And the first book duels at that part. And then he becomes the hero of the realm, trying to bring all the people together. So he brings elves, dwarves, men together to fight this evil guy and help conquer and save uh, guilt. What is it called? Let me think if I can think of the name of the Ah, yeah. Uh Gurgland. Gurgland. I'm sorry, I'm probably saying that bad wrong, but that's like the, the main area that they live in. It's a kind of like a continent surrounded by mountains. And there's only certain paths that can get into this this massive area. And the dwarves they were created by Vracus, the god, the god of the dwarves. Gave them a, a godly mission to protect Gilgerland from all enemies. And their job is just to be the stewards of the gates. So each mountain range has a dwarf kingdom. 
north, south, east, and west. But there are evil dwarves. There are dwarves who are dwarf killers who hate the dwarves, the thirdlings. And you find out some different things in the first book. Well, this book starts delving into after effects. And then a new threat is coming. How do the people are already devastated by the first massive war going to stand up to a new threat from the outer lands? And it goes back with, um, you know, Gold Hand again as he uh, has to try to keep people together. And it's it shows him traveling to the elf lands, traveling to different human kingdoms. You know, he's respected as the greatest hero of all time. Um, but things go wrong for him, way wrong for him. You know, he in the first book he's got this. Uh, he fell in love with this dwarven uh, blacksmith chick, and then this, you find out that his, her clan actually set her up with another dwarf. So she has to obey the clan. So she leaves him brokenhearted. Starts to hate. He starts to feel hate in his heart for the dwarf customs. For taking away the only woman he's ever loved, and so forth. You, you really get to see um, how he deals with his past, how he has to deal with not having a clan, um, how we bring back the fifthlings, because the fifthlings were wiped out in the first book. So he's bringing different clans together, different groups of people to help rebuild a fifthling kingdom and stuff like that. Uh, the book was really well written. Um, the, he does really well with the backstories, uh, different dwarven songs, um, different religion, the religions aspect, of like how they s different clans celebrate Varakas. You find out there's another clan out there who's not really a clan. They're called the Freelings, where a bunch of dwarves who are like thrown out of their clans for crimes or just left because they were tired of the, the stupidity. Uh, came together and created their own like secret society and you get to learn a lot more about those guys and how they live and that it's kind of interesting um but yeah and how the other doors kind of don't trust them because they were all criminals at some point um you get to see how the thirdlings because the thirdlings in the first book they had one thirdling you met and he was he pretty much undermined so much of what was going on. He tried to destroy the dwarves because they hate the dwarves for some kind of reason. The book will tell you, but I don't want to spoil it. And you find out actually that uh, Tundale is actually a thirdling by birth, but he is not part of the clan and does not hate dwarves. So he is ostracized because he's a thirdling and because he... Um, isn't part of any clan so it's kind of interesting but he becomes the most respected dwarf of all time because he's the hero he uh forwards king fire which is like a special axe in the first book and there's something crazy happens in this book with king fire and he's got to learn what it means to really be you know kind of not a part of the dwarven community but really an outsider so you get to see that, and at the end of the book, it come it finally wraps up nicely. Where if you just want to read one and two, you don't have to keep going. But, but the third book that I've started already has completely changed some of the stuff, and it made it very interesting. So, and if you're really looking forward to a good fantasy book where you have orcs versus you know dwarves versus you know wizards and and on gods and you know stuff like that um I pick up these definitely mark hines is the author and he does he does a very well well job you can find them at um www.orbitbooks.net if you want to look them up i actually got these at a place called vintage stock here where i live um it is a great bookstore, comics and stuff like that. They get collectibles and all kinds of stuff. One of my favorite places to go. Just look around sometimes. But definitely if you're looking for a good and you love dwarves, definitely, definitely get these books. It really delves in. You really feel the dwarfs 
and how the, they're actually more impactful in the story than more, even the elves and humans. And you got to see how the humans, the dwarves, don't, or not the humans, how the elves and dwarves don't get along at all because they've had centuries of war, centuries of hate towards each other, and now they have to come together. And it's. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of you see the difficulty they have letting go past grievances, how they move on past that, and all kinds of stuff. So yes, it was a very, very well done book series. I can't wait to get all five done and review each one for you guys. So that's pretty much all I have for you guys. So if you are interested in um, learning more, uh, please check it out. I'm recording this on Steamyard, so this is my first time doing this. So hopefully it turned out okay, and everything's working. Because usually I just go live on Steamyard, so I've never recorded before. So let me know in the comments how well you thought if you like this or not. Because last when I made my videos before, I only did it on my phone, and I only did it through YouTube thing, and I had to like put in edits and stuff. So if everything looks great, the editing looks great. Uh, let me know what you thought of it. Whew, burps. Drink a tea. My little one's sick. She's got like a cold or something. And so I'm, we're all trying to drink tea. Keep yourself healthy. Uh, but yeah. Uh, thank you for coming. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys, um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope you do. Um, you know, I'm not a very big channel, but I'm growing and, you know, the more we grow, the bigger we get, uh, you know, the more stuff I can do for you guys, the more videos I can make, the more live streams I can do and so on and so forth. And it's been a lot of fun hanging with all you guys, getting to know you, getting to see all, you know, what you guys are up to. <laughs> I'm watching your guys' streams. I know a lot of the subscribers that subscribe to me also have their own channels. I try to watch all of yours. Please like, share, and, and subscribe again. If you hit that notification bell, you know, smash that like button. Be good to each other. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Wash your hands. <laughs> wash your ass. Like, you know, great Stephen Walton, which I do have his book, which is right down there. It's a pretty good book, actually. So, but yeah, but thank you guys for um, being a part of this community, supporting me if you are. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> what, little one? Always hope. Okay, just give me a second. I'll see you next time. Bye. What we do in life? Echoes in eternity.